Chennai, for all our complex problems, we unfortunately rely on other experts and specialists to solve them. Religions throughout the world offer various forms of escape from them. It was thought that science would help resolve this complexity of human problems, that education would resolve and put an end to them, but one observes that problems are increasing throughout the world, they are multiplying and becoming more urgent, complex, and seemingly endless. Eventually one realizes that one cannot depend on anyone, either on the priests, the scientists or the specialists, one has to go it alone. One has to make the journey of understanding by oneself. Every form of authority has failed. Man set up these authorities as a guide, as a means of bringing freedom, peace, and because they have failed they have lost their meaning and hence there is a general revolt against the authorities, spiritual, moral and ethical. One can see in this country, that there is already a decay taking place before maturity has been reached, there is disorder, conflict, confusion, there is inevitable fear and sorrow, these outward events inevitably force one to find for oneself the answer, one has to wipe the slate clean and begin again knowing that no outside authority is going to help. One is forced to stand alone, examining, questioning, doubting everything, so that one's own mind becomes clarified. Can we in fact stand alone and explore for ourselves to find the right answer? Can we, in exploring our own minds, our own hearts which are so heavily conditioned, be free, completely, both unconsciously and consciously? Can the mind be free of fear? This is one of the major issues of life. Let us go into it, not abstractly, not theoretically, but by actually being aware of one's own fears, physical as well as psychological. One may be aware of the physical fears, but can one be aware of the unconscious, deeper layers of fears? Fear in any form darkens the mind and brings about confusion. In fear there is no clarity. Through awareness, through attention during the day, in speech, in act, in everything that takes place, then both the hidden and the open fears are exposed, then when you sleep there is a sleep that is completely quiet, without a single dream and the mind wakes up the next morning fresh, young, innocent, alive. This is not a theory, do it and you will find out. Let's block ads. Why?